Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here, and in today's Grand Theft Auto 5 video, we're going to be talking about all the details of the brand new event week that's going on right now in Grand Theft Auto Online that features new content, new vehicles, game modes, bonuses, discounts, sales, free money, and a whole lot more. There's a lot that is going on. Now, before we get started for a little bit of this new content, I am going to be doing a shark card giveaway that's going on right now on my Twitter account. So it's for the vigilante. I'm going to be handing out three $3.5 million to one lucky person. That giveaway is going on now until Monday, which is the day before Halloween. So all you have to do is go down in the description, follow me on Twitter, and retweet that tweet. If you're not following me, I definitely recommend you do, as anytime there's a new vehicle or new content added in online, I always do shark card giveaways. So you don't want to miss out on that. And in this instance, $3.5 million is going to one lucky person, and I'll be announcing that on Monday. Now, getting on to the new content, and if it wasn't obvious enough already, since this is the Halloween event, we have a brand new vehicle that Rockstar has introduced, and that is the Vigilante Batmobile. So Rockstar described the Vigilante as the ultimate instrument of vengeance, equipped with rocket propulsion technology and front-mounted machine guns with room for a missile upgrade. The Vigilante will strike fear and provide swift justice to those who come for your throne. Impose order on the streets of Los Santos with the Vigilante, available exclusively from more stock cash and carry. So that's where you'll be able to find this vehicle. It's a two-seater supercar, and its price tag is $3.75 million dollars if you take away the likes of the rocket voltic it becomes the most expensive supercar in the game so it's pretty pricey now i will be doing a dedicated video to the vigilante a little bit later in the day talking about its cool quirks and features and pros and cons and whether or not you should or shouldn't buy this vehicle but for now and to give you the long story short the vigilante is available you can buy it now and it doesn't look as if it has a limited time date so nowhere on the newswire, which I will leave a link to in the description, does Rockstar say it's only available for a certain amount of time, which to me indicates the Vigilante will be permanently available in online, which is nice because there is some other content that we'll talk about later that is not permanently available. But it is good news for this if you are you know, saving up your money or you know for a fact by the end of this event you won't have enough well, it'll still likely be available for you. Now, Rockstar State, in case you want to get a taste of the Vigilante's automotive prowess, they have added a new haunting transform race called Inferno. So they state, soar through a hellish landscape in the ultralight, transform into the beast, and leap through a burning wilderness, and then rip through the streets in the Vigilante. So Rockstar added, like I said, a new transform race today, and it's incredibly fun. Uh, we did this on our live stream earlier today, and it's probably the best transform race that Rockstar's added in the game. Not only do they have the Vigilante and the Beast, but they also have the Halloween weather as well, and buildings are on fire, trees are on fire. It's a really cool experience, and this is also a great opportunity for you to test out the Vigilante in case you're on the fence on whether purchasing or not, and you obviously don't have the ability to get it in single player, so using it in this transform race could give you a little bit of a better insight on whether you may or may not want this vehicle, which could be pretty cool. And on top of all of that, Rockstar is extending the double RP and money payouts on all transform races, as that will continue through October 30th, which is Monday. So essentially today, all throughout the weekend, Monday, and a little bit in the early morning on Halloween on the 31st, you will be able to continue to earn double GTA money and RP on the Transform races that Rockstar added last week, which is pretty awesome. Now, Rockstar have also introduced a new adversary mode into the game, and that adversary mode is Condemned. They state, your time is running out. There's a dead man walking in Los Santos, and it could easily be you. Just in time for Halloween, the nightmarish adversary mode condemned marks one unlucky player for imminent death. When the timer runs out, they're worm food. Their only hope is to pass the bad news onto someone else, and the only way to do that is by sending them on a short trip to a shallow grave. Last Man Standing wins, and you can earn double GTA money and RP and Condemned from now until November 6th. So Rockstar have added seven Condemned maps into the game, and I will say this adversary mode is pretty fun. Is it better than Slasher? I don't think so but it is pretty enjoyable and it's double money in RP for now. The first takes place at Mount Chiliad. The second takes place at Pacific Bluff, which is just the cemetery in Vinewood. The third one takes place at the like electrocution grid in downtown Vinewood. 
The fourth is in Richmond, which is at the Playboy Mansion. The fifth is also at Pacific Bluffs. I'm not exactly too sure where that is based off the picture. The sixth one is in Palito Forest. And the seventh one is in Sandy Shores. Now, Rockstar adds some cool things to this adversary mode, like props and the Halloween weather. It's a pretty enjoyable adversary mode. Will I be playing it really outside of the Halloween season? The answer to that is likely no. But at the end of the day, it's still a fun adversary mode. And I think Rockstar went to a lot of effort to do some pretty cool stuff with it. So you should at least give it a chance, as it looks definitely pretty menacing and is a rather cool adversary mode. Now, in addition to that, another way to keep the earnings going will be through the Smuggler's Cell missions. So Rockstar are gonna be providing, once again, double GTA money and RP payouts to all participants through November 6th. And for the loyal associates who risk life and limb to execute your devilish deeds, double GTA money, salary payouts for those associates for a biker club or a CEO associate organization will, like I said, be getting double money and RP, which is pretty cool as well. Now, this is not mentioned anywhere on the Newswire, but FunMW2 has also tracked a couple of other bonuses as well. So the dogfight bonus increases to 100 RP. The delivery vehicle return bonus increases to 1,000 RP. High demand bonus now requires 22 players for maximum profit, in which it used to be 25. And then, of course, the double money in RP for salaries for bodyguards and associates. So needless to say, that's pretty awesome and is definitely really, really cool. Now, something else that's really, really cool is that Rockstar is giving away free money. They state, to celebrate four years of Southern San Andreas mayhem, we're offering up a few treats to any and all players who log into Grand Theft Auto Online at any point through November 6th. So essentially, you've got about 10 days to do this. Anyone who plays during the period will receive a $400,000 award that will be deposited into their Mays Bank account between November 6th and the 13th. So recap, $400,000 is your award. You have to sign into online through now, through November 6th, and there's a chance that you get the money on November 6th or you could get it on the 13th. That's pretty cool. Obviously, free money is free money. You shouldn't complain about that. And that $400,000 can get you a lot, including a lot of the discounts and sales and stuff we'll be talking about later on in this video too. Now, in addition to all those money-making opportunities, Rockstar are also offering a bunch of anniversary specials where you can get 30% off the following until October 30th. So there's a bunch of properties that are all 30% off, including all the hangers, all the bunkers, all the biker clubhouses, and all the vehicle warehouses. So in case you in some way, shape, or form have not gotten involved in any of the latest businesses to be added into online, hangers are 30% off, so the smugglers run stuff you can get involved, bunkers are 30% off, so the gun running stuff you can jump into, the biker clubhouses, which you obviously need, so if you missed out on any of the biker businesses, now would be a good time, and the import-export vehicle warehouse is 30% off too. Basically, the only property that didn't get a bonus or a sale were the CEO offices, but they're pretty much on sale every other week. So by now you probably should have taken advantage of that, but all of those properties are 30% off. There's also a bunch of special and weaponized vehicles that are getting 30% off too. The first of those special vehicles is the V65 Molotov, which actually came out in Smuggler's Run. So for me, instead of it being $3.6 million, it's only $2.5 million, which is not bad at all. Now I have the trade price, so if you don't, yours will be a little bit more expensive, but the Molotov is one of the best jets in the game. And the fact that it's already on sale is quite nice. So if you've been waiting for it to go on sale, I would take advantage of that. After that, you have the half track. Again, I have the trade price for this. So instead of it being 1.6 or $1.7 million, it's now only 1.186 million. Not all that bad for a vehicle like that. It's a three seater. And then the weaponized Tampa, instead of it being 1.595 million, is now only $1,109,000. So some nice discounts right there. Now, after that, we have the ramp buggy and the phantom wedge. So the ramp buggy is anywhere between 2.4 and $3.2 million. But on sale, it's 1.6 to 2.234 million, so not all that terrible. And then, of course, you have the Phantom Wedge, which is 1.9 to 2.5 million dollars originally, and now, since it's 30% off, is 1.344 million to 1,787,000 dollars. Again, not all that terrible. And the last weaponized or special vehicle is definitely the big one, the Ruiner 2000, which has the most expensive price tag of 4 million to 
5.7 million dollars but now that it's on sale is just over three million dollars or just over four million dollars for this pretty awesome vehicle now in addition to that there are more vehicles that are on sale on the legendary motorsports site and southern san andreas we'll start with the pagasi and furnace classic it's now six hundred and forty thousand dollars which makes it one of the cheapest and best sports classic cars we have in the game after that, we have the Rustin, which is on sale for $301,000, one of the more quirky and interesting sports cars we have in the game. After that, we have a supercar, the Ocelot Penetrator, which becomes one of the cheapest supercars in the game at $616,000. And the Nagasaki Shotaro, one of the best bikes in the game, is now only $1,557,500 thousand dollars so some pretty awesome legendary motorsport sales right there and then if we move over to the uh, southern san andreas site the vapid retinue is the first vehicle that's on sale it is four hundred and thirty and a half thousand dollars this is one of those vehicles that once again has come with smugglers run after that, we have the Declasse Tornado Rat Rod, which is $264,000, and then the Pegasi Vortex, which is $249,000. So some pretty nice discounts right there. Now, in addition to that, Rockstar have also brought back the old Halloween content, and they're also at a discount as well, which you can probably tell. So Rockstar have returned the LCC Sanctus, the Albany Frankenstein, and the Lurcher from previous year's Halloween updates, but they're all also at a 25% slashed price, which is incredibly cool. I said that there was a possibility that Rockstar could do this, but I said that it would be unlikely and good guy Rockstar brings back the old content and it's not even full price. So that is incredibly awesome and very cool of them. But that's not all. They have also returned the Halloween mask, which can be purchased at the Vespucci movie mask shop. And there's a lot of really cool ones right there. You can see that I've already got my pumpkin one on right now, pretty much celebrating Halloween early and then the face paints which can be purchased from the uh, air cut place and once again the important thing to note about everything I just mentioned Frankenstein Lurcher LCC Sanctus mass and face paint is if you don't buy this it looks like it will be going away just like it has done the previous years once the Halloween event is over uh, those vehicles and those items are typically removed. So I would buy them while they're here and while you have the chance. Now, on top of all those ghoulish tricks and treats, Rockstar states all players will be gifted a classic trio of in-game horror film t-shirts for logging in, including the Knife After Dark t-shirt, the Vinewood Zombie t-shirt, and my personal favorite, the Cheerleader Massacre 3 t-shirt. All of these are pretty cool and certainly pretty spooky. Now, there does look to be some secret sales that are going on this week. This was tweeted at me from a user, eJazz. Now, I'm not sure if these are all the secret sales, but they look to be all the vehicle ones. So that would be the Tula, the Ardent, and the Rogue from the Warstock site. Uh, on the Legendary Motorsports site, it looks like the ETR1 is getting a nice discount. And then on the Elitist Travel site, it looks like the Havoc is getting a nice little discount too. So some Smuggler's Run stuff continues to go on sale if you have these secret sales this week. If anyone else can confirm if there are any more vehicles, I don't believe there are, but there might be another property or something like that that I didn't mention. Uh, but anyways, that is pretty much all the details and everything that is going on this week and for the next couple of days in Grand Theft Auto Online as far as the new event goes. New content, new vehicles, clothing, discounts, and so much more. Let me know if you're excited for Halloween in the comments section down below. I'd love to hear from you guys down there. Remember to enter my shark card giveaway that's going on right now i'll leave a link in the description if you did go and enjoy this video though a like rating would of course be awesome and also subscribe to my youtube channel if you are new we like daily gta 5 videos like this with all the way guys like i said thanks so much for watching take care and i'll see you guys in the next video